Hello everyone, it's Diva Daddy back with a brand new video and today we have the third ringside report from 2K for WWE 2K22 and today's video is focusing on a deep dive with My Rise and the 2K Showcase. Now, I'm just here for the My Rise because for the first time ever you could finally be a woman in My Rise, like just solo female, no men involved and it's just one big apparently there's a bunch of different storylines so that's a good thing and i'm here for it my rise like this is what i'm here for apparently a video leaked this morning showing different hairstyles i didn't see really any new ones but i did see a new hairstyle in the my rise trailer that was posted yesterday so without further ado let's get into this ringside report so make sure to follow me on twitter at diva daddy that's where i post my content that's where i live tweet wrestling shows that's where i talk my shit I'm lucky standing Christina and the M fam. That's what I'm looking forward to the most. I w oh, I forgot to also preface in the video. Ginny's not in the game. Never mind Ginny, Indy Hartwell, Casey Catanzaro, Caden Carter. It's just people that I would have expected to be in the game are just not there. So I'm hoping they're all DLC. And once again, we're not doing this alone because we're bringing the homies from the dev team with us. Bring on the homies. Okay, all right, so in today's episode, we're covering two things. Showcase and my ride, starting with Showcase. You're saving the best for last. So we want to spend some time talking about Ray and Showcase and then some. I will say Dolph Ziggler's hair look a mess. Like a couple weeks ago, the trail of bit of the showcase footage was revealed and like the part that's like on the crown of his head or is that the crown of your head, whatever the front of his head it's just i understand it's supposed to emulate like a messy look but it's just not working you have Rey mysterio kind of coaching you through telling you what to do next how to beat this opponent what you want to try to strategize with <laughs> so is he gonna be talking does he do like a voiceover okay next i'm gonna irish whip eddie into the ropes the oh shit i like that move so it changes with every single match what I mean if I fast forward it a bit? Like Marister, I love you. I probably won't even touch this mode, but we're here for my rise. Ooh, some women. Okay, period. Senior narrative designer. Period, of course. Of course you have the artsy people coming in designing the story. We're excited to talk about my rise. Yes. So am I. And I'm excited to listen to it. About. Let's talk about this wig. Like, she's giving Lady Frost down, and the movement that this wig has, like, I can tell they put work into, you know, animating the hair for this game. So, you know what? I commend 2K for that. Play in either WWE division. Uh, that's right. I'm talking about playing in the WWE women's division for the first time ever. Oh. We have a well, solo at last. Game, uh, with unique content that separates it from the men's division. And I'm not talking Thank fuck. This took me out the way Sonya got clocked. Like, <laughs> number two, you'll be playing across all three brands. You'll learn from the best at the WWE Performance Center. Define what kind of superstar you're gonna be. Interesting. Where you start your career really depends on the. See, look at the Myra. Can we just focus on like look at the detail of the performance that are like they put work into like look at like the exercise equipment, the dumbbells, the racks. Like, I want this area accessible for gameplay. Like as an optional area to fight in or like i even proposed on twitter like the next 2k game should really focus on like nxt and what it takes to build a wwe superstar especially with the way they're like marketing nxt 2.0 and the way like how they're recruiting new athletes like they're recruiting like college students college athletes and like I don't know, I just really want to have the experience of becoming a WWE superstar from getting signed to training in the performance center every day to be the best you can be. I want to do mini games where I like run on the treadmills, lift weights, do, you know, combines, like how like Bianca Belair did hers. Like that's what I want to do. Like that's the game I want to experience. That's the WWE experience I want to have in a video game. But I'm just mad. Like look at all this detail and like just for it to be in the background of a cutscene, like I want it to be interactable. Anyways, oh my god, what's this? Corey Klein. Hey, internet, does anyone know? <laughs> is this their version of Twitter? I saw the achievements list got released the other day and I was just skimming through them and I saw one of them about gaining Twitter followers or fans or something like that. Getting 300,000 fans, I believe, or some something of the sort, which is so funny being in the age of social media. Corey Klein, WWE. Why does that look like Renee a bit? 
Hey internet, does anyone know if private buses can use bus lane? Trying to get people to places fast. Well, does anyone have a bus? This is giving total divas when everyone hopped on Brian's bus. Messy ass episode. More women's wrestling on TV. Ha! <laughs> Ready for another Eero Shirai rain. Make the match real king. <laughs> you coward. <laughs> are these fans or are these wrestlers? Been getting great updates about the new talent coming up at the PC lately. NXT Rose right now, better watch out. I like this. This is cute. This little social media implementation. Oh my god, not a DM section as well. <laughs> you start off as a hero or a villain in WWE, you're always Ooh, Becky. the of your story. Um, and if you always want to put it aside, you can you know, go bad or decide to do different paths. Man, boo. What about number four? In my ride, you can also choose between four different character backgrounds. Whether your character Ooh, okay. <gasps> MMA, a gritty and battle-tested cage fighter. You know how to handle yourself in just about any situation, but no opponent or training camp can compare to this challenge. Will you stand out and become the next MMA to WWE success story or tap out under the pressure of the WWE universe? That's interesting. Notable MMA superstar Shayna Baszler, Sonya Deville, Zia Lee. I like that. Wait, Zia Lee? She's in the game. Why would they mention her if she's not in the game? She wasn't in the roster reveal. Okay, giving SmackDown vs. Raw games where names would be dropped or people would be in intros and they wouldn't be in the game. Okay. Indy, after training under two... T Why do I see Marie's? Okay, hold on. After, <laughs> after training under two-time WWE Hall of Famer Booker T, you paid your dues on the indie scene, owning your craft until WWE scouts took notice. Now that you've proven yourself on the small stage, that spotlight will only get bigger. Do you have what it takes to jump from indie prospect to WWE superstar? Notable indie star Shotzi Candice Miriam. I like this. I like how they're like acknowledging that wrestlers come from different backgrounds and they all start with different experience and go at their own paces. But let's get into this. Mar <laughs> what? No, I want to see Marie's. What's Marie's and Bianca's? Okay, I want to see Marie. I want to say Bianca's is like college athlete. But what's Marie's? Is Marie's is like a model or like a WWE deep? Like, I'm so intrigued. I want to see the notable superstars for that. Pro athlete. So yeah, see, that's probably Bianca. actor is that what maurice's is gonna be probably maurice's is probably gonna be actor and bianca's is pro athlete since there's only four unless they have like distinguishable ones from the men's and women's but i doubt it over 1,000 playable matches that is 1,000 not bath three zero and mexico city what's your favorite mine is definitely mexico city beautifully rendered it looks amazing and I notice how some hair doesn't move and some like they really pick and choose whose hair is animated because out of all the gameplay footage i've seen natty's hair has been the stiffest like there was even one where she did a taunt and the hair like went from behind her head and like did a like sharp turn right in front of it <laughs> like, again but i guess this is all alpha build footage or whatever you want to call it so Interesting. It's cute. Sonya Deville really getting a big part in this game. I'm happy for her being a general manager in GM mode, and it looks like she has an integral part of um, my rise too. So. Decisions that are going to inform your playthrough, and this is going to include things like rivalry where you're going to make different decisions from the next person who's playing it, and you're going to have a totally unique, different experience just for yourself. I just hope My Rise has a lot of people, and I think they do, because, you know, 2K, like, a lot of superstar showcase, other than the ones we've seen, like, we've only seen Shayna, we've only seen Shayna, Natty, Bailey, Sonya, and Sasha, and Becky, that's five girls that we've been seeing in any of the My Rise um, previews, and I'm assuming because, like, there's so many people fired and everyone knows at this point that 2k is not putting any fired people in any of their previews for the game they're not allowed to whatever promote that they're in the game because of royalty issues i get it but i'm intrigued to see who else is going to be in the game at least in the female side of things because like i said men between the men's and women's division storylines has over 50 hours of gameplay time 
Wow, that's a lot. Now, mind you, I have never... I played the women 2K 20s for like 10 seconds and I attempted, I think it was 2K 18. I think that was when Nikki crossed his for the first time. I think I attempted that in my career for the first time. But I've never actually played it, never let alone complete it. So 50 hours, that sounds like a lot to me. And it sounds like there's a lot to do. So looks like we will be streaming this year. If we had one guiding principle, it, it would be choice. Like, you have agency this year to decide where you start. You have agency to decide if you're a protagonist or antagonist. I cannot wait to be my antagonist and whatever Maurice's background is because that's my, like, dream to be a superstar. A bitch with charisma, what can I say? What other modes or areas of the game are you most excited to test out? Well, can I answer this question? Creation Suite. Now, what we saw from that leaked footage on one of, I think it was literally one of the 2K Next makers who leaked the footage. Anyways um where's the hair where's the new hair now i saw in my rise like one of the there was a new hairstyle that didn't look okay like there's a million different hairstyles that have that exact same style but that length and cut specifically like i've never seen that before unless they really like took and like redid the existing hair to the point of like it being unrecognizable that looks new to me uh i'm super trying to showcase um i love our mysterio i love seeing the latinos out there you know doing the best it has been years since i've been able to play it the return of my GM. That's going to be the first thing I'm going to load up as soon as I get it day one. It's gotta, that's got to be where I'm at. Cannot relate. I'm just starting to bully my friends into getting their copies so that we can all get online and I can trash talk them. And Not none of them saying my rise. Girl, y'all develop the game. So that wraps it up for Ringside Report Episode 3. Thank you to Team well. So, back to some things that piqued my interest, just to go over one more time before I wrap up this video myself. I love this background. The choose your background thing is crazy to me. Because, like, for the first time ever, like, we're not just in a one singular stagnant story mode. Like, 2 k twenty, my career was a disaster because it was literally just, like, a story mode for a created wrestler. It wasn't, like... You didn't have agency over your decisions, really. It was just one singular stagnant thing. At least for 2K22 story mode, now we have the choice of having backgrounds. So, like, we have MMA, athlete, actor, and indie wrestler, which... Baby steps, baby steps. Like, this is a step in the right direction for how I want my career to be. Or my rise, whatever you want to call it. Because like I said, next year, how I want it to be NXT focus and really like own in on the performance center and really building a superstar. This is the first step in that right direction. So like picking each wrestler's background. And I just want to note like notable MMA superstar Zia Lee. She must be, I don't know if she's unlockable. I don't know if she's going to be DLC or they just haven't showed her. They forgot about her in the roster reveal. But why would they put her in here if she's not in the game? I want to know Maurice so badly just because they showed Miz for actor I'm assuming that it's gonna be the same for Maurice and then pro athletes gonna be Bianca track star CrossFit queen this is also funny the whole social media wait has this always existed and I mean technically because like every story mode and career had like a phone option dating all the way back to like what Smack Numbers Raw 2007 where you had your computer and you could check like check your emails or even Smack Numbers Raw 2010 road to WrestleMania when Maurice would literally call you and talk shit but the way how it's like Twitter with like retweets and I'm assuming this is a like. <laughs> I really hope my rise impresses me this year. And then I hope there's also like a lot of things that are like hidden and not being shown right away. Like I trust them. I trust the cutscenes. I trust the story progression. These people look like they spent time really like stripping it back and really developing this my rise and giving us the best they can. And like I said, this like from what I can see, this is looks like the groundwork to what my rise could potentially be in the future they're like laying the framework down in all honesty i do feel like 2k22 is the groundwork for something that could be even better in the future all right that's about it thank you so much for watching if you want to keep up with me elsewhere like i said you can follow me on twitter diva daddy that's where i talk shit that's where i live tweet wrestling shows post my 2k content creation content everything under the sun also add me on psn diva daddy there's a dash before the e and yeah, thank you so much for watching. 2K22 coming out in six days. Diva Daddy out.